All right, guys, I just finished editing the video you're about to watch, and I felt the need to warn you, the viewer, like a PSA, a public service announcement. Sometimes you get the announcements for not suitable for children or may cause epileptic seizures. It's like all that into a cooking recipe. Uh, I'm sorry. So I hope you're okay to watch this. Enjoy. Oh, jeez. You know what that means. No, it means Ta I need to leave. Taco time. Oh, is that what that means? Come on, let's get some tacos. Oh, dude. Delicious carne asada tacos. Right? Come on. Right? Come on. Right? Have you ever found yourself down a YouTube rabbit hole? Oh, the YouTube vortex is real. It is so real, man. You find yourself watching, like, how to grow worms. And then, all of a sudden, you're rebuilding a carburetor from a 65 El Camino. Yeah, Small then you're right into, like, how to increase your distance on a disc golf drive. Never gone down that one, but well, occasionally- I have, and I can, I, and I hey, will, will, you please and I just should. Can I show you? No. Well, I found myself down that certain rabbit hole, and I um, was checking out taco recipes, and I found, as we all know, Sam the cooking guy. Oh, he's Dude, great. he's freaking awesome. Me and Sam, we go way back. Sure you do. Uh, back in college, we actually had this funny thing. Well, that's a whole different story. That's a whole together. different story altogether. <laughs> that's a different story altogether. Sam the cooking guy, I freaking dig this dude. He's raw, he's amazing, he's funny. And he had this delicious recipe for what he calls the best carne asada tacos. Ooh, are we about to find out? Do exactly what I do, and these could turn out to be the best tacos you will ever have in your life. Um, I, I was watching it and I was like, I, I could change it, I could twist it up, but honestly, I don't need to. He did it, he said it's the best. So today, well, if he said it's right, then you believe him. But if I say it's right, you give me crap about it. I think you make stuff up all the time. I don't. We all know you do. Everybody's debating. So you're down. trying to tell me that Sam made you do it? On this episode, I'm making carne asada tacos because Sam made me do it. Dude, bring it and bring it and quit joshing. <laughs> quit Josh hunting. Josh hunting. <laughs> hey. Hey. Here's to Josh Hunt. And Sam. I gotta say, Sam was pretty convincing about why this was the best carne asada recipe. Uh, and after watching it a couple times, I found out that it's really all about the prep time. Oh yeah, it looks delicious, it is delicious. It's not gonna it's take quick. long with the steak. Uh, we're using a skirt steak, which it's gonna cook super fast. So yeah, it's it's the prep time, so. You know what you, need, you know what it's called? You need your mise en place. Your mise. It means everything in its place, and it's French. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Why are you wasting my time with that? <laughs> Mise and peas and carrots. Blah. Mise en place. Mise blah, blah, blah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and prep all of that and we are gonna put it in this nice bowl right here. I've got, to start us off, I've got three bits of garlic. Now this is funny because, um, well, first off, the technique uh, I've learned, just cut that front little bit, give it a smash. Boom. It releases kind of the garlic uh, paper if you will, the outside. Um, but this the is garlic great. Garlic paper. Garlic like paper. The garlic paper. Um, dude, Sam, this he called for this in his recipe and he forgot it. He forgot garlic? Yeah. I just looked down to get ready to get the carne asada and I found three cloves of garlic sitting in front of me, which tells me I didn't put garlic in the carne asada. Until the very end. That's and so weird that he would forget something while he was doing a like, cooking show. Who does that anyways, right? No one. Obviously. So uh, we're gonna do the same thing to all three of these. And so yeah, he gets to the very end and he's like, dude, don't be like me. Put garlic in your uh, carne asada marinade. So that's what we're gonna do. So anyways, we're gonna do good chop here on this. Now, you could be super precise and get very intricate and detailed on this, but we're gonna be chopping with our cilantro here in a second as well. Oh, that's a good trick. I just found it would, uh, it's, the best of, it's the best of both worlds. It's the best of both worlds! All right, so we've got our garlic sitting right there. Now we've gonna, now we've gonna. Now we've gonna. Now we've gonna. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna take uh, some cilantro. Stems and all. Just get it, throw, oh, whoa, whoa. You don't like that stem though. No, oh. whoa, okay, what? well what? You, you said it, not me. I didn't mean it. Okay. Okay. Gonna get that. And yeah, notice we've got the garlic under there. We're just gonna con continue the it's chopping. Like a second chop. Yeah, continue the chopping process with our cilantro. God, 
That is aromatic, dude. That smells so fantastic. So good. I'm actually gonna call that good. So we're going into our bowl here. Okay, now let's get our lemon. Now, I don't know if it's just... I love the look of this lemon. It's almost like it's a lime. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> hey, fellas, who's the goose? <laughs> me. Crap! That's what I meant. It's in the same category, the citrus category. Yeah. Which I would not variety. call a grapefruit or an orange a lemon. But you certainly know your vegetables that are fruits. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. Touche. <laughs> We're gonna zest our lime. Uh, this, Nate, would you like to uh, kind of geek out and tell us why? Oh, I'd love to. So there is a ton of that floral uh, essence of citrus in the skin. However, it's only found where the color is. If you get too far into the white or the pith, uh, it just gets Oops. bitter. Uh, but there's a ton of flavor and oil in that skin, and it doesn't take a ton. We've got our uh, our zest. That's Beautiful. there. Now we're gonna do the lime juice. The juice. The juice. Dude, you weren't kidding. That is super aromatic. See? It's lovely. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got some uh, cumin here. This is cumin's in a lot of like Hispanic Mexican food dishes, right? It's a fantastic, also aromatic flavor. White. It's so good, and I'm a fan of a lot. Jeez. That's why I'm gonna take whoa, that lid whoa. off. Whoa, whoa. Gonna... You just took it to, to Flavortown. There whoa. it is. Whoa. <laughs> That's all right. We about burnt Flavortown down. I'm, a, with I'm okay one. with that. That's all right. Okay, now let's throw some avocado. Coffee to <laughs> no, Today we're discussing avocado coffee. oil. Coffee and avocado. A chickpea, neither a chick <laughs> nor, nor a, a pea. pea. Discuss. 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 The, oh, I need some salt and pepper. Oh, jeez, jeez, jeez. A touch of S&P. Yep. And also, if you haven't noticed, we definitely are fans of that kosher salt, that big coarse, gra yes. uh, coarse salt yes. and coarse ground black pepper. Mm-hmm. Just bigger, bolder flavors, and I'm all about that. Big, bolder, flavor. Little. Yellow. yellow different. different. Ah, new print. Little. Yellow. Different. Ooh, that smell. Oh, dang it. So good. I missed one. Wait, you missed one? Crap. You missed one what? I have to walk. What? Can we? I have to shut up. Wow. Real professional. If I wasn't doing it just like Sam said, I would ignore this. Real professional, CJ. Crap! What you got there? What you got? That's worth living for. <laughs> <laughs> what you got here? That's worth living for. Okay, hats back. This is a, an ingredient that Sam has actually taken a lot of heat for. Yeah, a lot of people they, they threw shade. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yeah, and he Who and here here was his here was his sentiment. I don't know I don't know why it tastes good in it, but it just does. So hate all you want, but this is. Can we be like? Honest about it at the end? Son of a Oh God. no. Are you serious? Two in a row? No one's gonna believe this is real. Ethan, did, was this planned? No. What? I have nothing to say. Sugar? Wait, you forgot two super weird ingredients. Wait, so Sam is saying to put soy and sugar. Like and, brown sugar. Right, I'm gonna go with Look, Sam. I'm just I'll he, go on this journey. He made me do it. I'm I'm doing it. So okay. Here we go, soy yeah. sauce. Got it. Um, I'm sure there's a specific amount, but. He probably wants that salty umami flavor. I bet that's what he was thinking. Sam, let us know in the comments, because I know you're watching. Yeah. Um, and, um, and then a bit of sugar to uh, offset that umami, a little sweet. See, that's. This is actually a really good idea from a flavor perspective. Definitely not authentic. So we've got this exquisite mixture here, man. I'm just making a marinade and this has been way too long. <laughs> let's, let's, can we just commit to yeah. move a little quicker from yeah. now on? Why don't you commit? A little skirt steak? Yep. I'll do you for? That'll do it. So I'm gonna coat oh, wow, this. Oh wow, dude, this smells amazing. It's it's quite extravagant. Wow. Now, um, we're, we, in, in a perfect world, we would let this marinade for, you know, at least an hour. Yeah, let's give it an hour. Oh, through the magic of television. We shall do that. What's the bag for? We're gonna let it marinate in the bag. Oh. Because it's easier to vacuum seal, set it in the fridge, 
No problem. Whoa, jeez. Oh, no. Oh. This is a really bad day. I'm having a really, really <laughs> bad day. I could use a hug right now. I'm having a really bad day. Can I have a hug? Why didn't you just do it in the bag to be? Why don't with? you just shut up? Because Sam made me do it. Sam, you should have done it in the bag. CJ? <laughs> he did do it in the bag eventually. When are you going to do an episode that says Nate made me do it? Never. Oh, you. Are All right, so give me rude. a second. Let's just cut. Okay. I'm ringing the bell because we have yeah. to cut after the bell. Is that what it, just, That's what it is. Yeah, okay. Now, because I'm incompetent and can't do anything quick, <laughs> I am going to move through this through the magic of television. So we're gonna grab our little blender, pop the top off, we're gonna put some avocado in there. Uh, get rid of the seed, drop it in however you like, grab a little bushel of cilantro. A bushel. A little bushel. Then we're gonna grab some fresh garlic. You don't need to chop it up because we're gonna blend it up. Put it in there, we'll make sure you get rid of that garlic paper. Then we're gonna add a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of salt and pepper, and a little bit of milk to oh, thin what's this the milk out. For? That's gonna thin it out. Uh, give it a blend, then there it is. All right guys. Uh, oh. It's been marinating for an hour. The bag is still a little juicy because I <laughs> dropped it. Because I'm a giant idiot. What are it you gonna do? It looks fantastic, man. Well, you know. Let's all, let's just forget about what happened. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna mention it. I'll mention it later. Anyways, let's keep going on. So I've got my griddle over here. It's actually smoking hot. Boom. Bang. Smoking, smoking hot. Which is definitely what we want because skirt steak is pretty thin. Yes, it is. I just need to find my tongs, which no I had out way. here. No way, you are a mess. <laughs> Dude, they were out here earlier. You're Ethan, a mess. Ethan, what'd you do? What'd you do, Ethan? What'd you do? Oh, this is insane. <laughs> Where is it? Seriously? God dang it! <laughs> <laughs> when it rains! You're a hot mess! It pours! It's getting to be a gosh dang ridiculous, man! Hey, I brought a plate out just in case. <laughs> Got her. Let's head over to the griddle top, shall hey, we? Yeah. yeah. Actually, I think your tip about being really, really hot, that's key. That's vital to this, because uh, we want to get a quick, quick Sear, oh, we yeah, want to we're get that nice crust. Fast Bro, and look at all of that magic right there. Yes. Here we go, boys. You ready? Oh, come on now. That is the magic. Now, this is not going to take long to cook this steak. As you can see, it's super thin. Um, and skirt Man, steak. I can smell the soy. There it is, right? Sam. Way uh, to go. I stand corrected. Way to go, Sam. Wow. Also, Sam. Don't let them know I forgot one ingredient in the crema. So this is not gonna take long, guys. Uh, we're gonna get a sear on both sides, and we're gonna cook this to a medium. I don't wanna overcook it. No way. No way. And what a what a waste, right? Like oh. a, a clown is a terrible thing to waste. A clown? Or a mime? <laughs> I'm a mime. <laughs> I'm a mime. <laughs> hey, mime's just doing talk. <laughs> 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 so we're gonna give this 90 seconds yeah probably 60 seconds at this point so okay. let me ring the bell because i'm having a really rough day and i could use a ring or two or maybe it's the ring or two that's the problem oh geez yeah we got that awesome Beauty. look oh, at yeah. this that sear right there that Money. is what we're talking about it's 60 more seconds all right so let's do a little preparation while that is finishing up I'm gonna cruise right through this. You ready for this, ready boys? Ready for this, what are we doing? We're gonna take a tomato, we're gonna dice that up. Uh, Sam actually gets rid of the really soft interior parts. I'm gonna keep them, because I like them. I think they're tasty. We're gonna grab an onion. We're gonna do the same thing. Basically just get them uh, chopped up into about the same size. Gonna add a little salt and pepper, and then we are done. And Bob's your uncle, Bob's time to flip. Uncle. Oh, we're not flipping anymore, are we? We're resting. Oh, wow. geez, yeah. I'm gonna just pull this out okay. of the Toven zone. Yeah, you could do. You can cut it in half and let it rest on the little cutting board. Uh, you know what I could do? Yeah. Oh. I could use our resting rack. Look at that. Look, Look at that. That's you. There we go, guy. Just gonna pull that and set like that it. there. I'm gonna bring my heat down. Now we've got some residual heat. Guys, we're gonna pull this off. Let that set. Dude, are you seeing this color? Ooh, it's gorge. It is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. Now, let's heat up some tortillas okay. real quick. Oh, we do a little cleaning trick? Yep. Show we the got, fine people at home how to clean. Because we've got some sugar that was on here. So 
So look at that. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Nailed it. Totally nailed it. I turned my heat off because I had that screaming. The residual heat that's on there is going to be plenty to warm yep. up our tortilla. So you stay there. So you said flour and corn? A little bit of olive oil. Bro, I got flies and bees everywhere around my head, man. What's yeah. going on around here? Your firearms are useless <laughs> against them. Your firearms are useless against them. That's. <laughs> Gonna throw a couple of those flour ones oh, down. Two just together. Like, yeah. I like that move. Yeah, it's uh, in case it's just too thin or if it gets too flimsy. Oh, and then uh, two little flour ones, just like that. I like it. Okay, those are warming up. Let's talk about this steak real fast. So we're gonna cut the steak in a certain way. Nate, you wanna tell us why we're gonna cut this in a certain way? Well, skirt steak is delicious and wonderful. If we cut with the grain, we'll be chewing on it for a country hour. <laughs> but if we cut against the grain, we get a nice delectable, uh, easy to eat bite. So there you go. So the grain, if you look really close, you can actually see those little lines. Those lines. That's the grain. Actually cut it right in the middle, yep. CJ, with the grain. Yep. Now that would be with the grain. Now if you turn oh, it- Oh, by the way. Oh, gorgeous cook. Oh yeah. Now turn it 45 degrees and you can cut on an angle, on a bias, just there we like go. that. Okay, here we go, guys. Now we're cutting against those lines, giving us a more delicate morsel to eat. So the meat literally starts to pull apart And it's just super it. tender at that point. That way you're not fighting, yeah, you're just not fighting um, yeah. the- what? Yeah, the natural sinew of the meat. There you go, sinew is the word I was looking for. Yeah, that, I'm sure the word you were looking for was symbolism. What is this? Symbolism there. Just cutting it like this changes a very affordable steak into a very tender and juicy steak, especially when it comes to your it's tacos. It's almost like it's all about that technique. Almost. Speaking of technique, yeah. I'm gonna cut this up because I don't want almost. to have, I don't wanna have giant bites. Kind of make it a little more, uh, a little Dude, it looks so, that's a perfect, flawless cook, buddy. So I might have forgotten basically it. everything needed for this recipe inside. But at least I redeemed myself with a steak, right? You cook like a champ. Okay, well, let's, oh, oh whoa, whoa. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, look how even. <laughs> what the <laughs> world? Oh the, my gosh. The Illuminati. <laughs> Dude, I have never seen that happen before. We're gonna, yeah, <laughs> I've never seen that happen. Wow. It's probably because I didn't oil it, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, look at that. We're just learning all kinds of all stuff All kinds today. of new stuff today. Let's set that down there. Alrighty. Let's bring this one right over here. Let's go ahead and pull. our corn and our flour. Yep. Let's pull those guys off. Let's let's plate this appropriately. Okay. All right. Okay. So first off, our corn tortilla. We've got our avocado creme crema. I never crema. know. I never on, know. On the flour or the corn? On both. Okay. Dang, it looks great. Yep. Now let's put a little bit on our corn. Avocado crema for the win. A little bit on our corn. Now I know you're not gonna like the uh, the corn one because you just don't prefer that. I didn't say that. Come on now. I just said I Come prefer on now. flour. It's not that I dislike. Corn. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Hold yeah. on. Let's let me let me taste this real quick. Yeah. How we do? Sam ain't wrong. Sam. He ain't wrong. Sam, I am. Uh huh. Dude, good work, Sam. Way to go, buddy. I'm gonna throw a little bit here, a little bit on our corn Alrighty. as well. Oh, we forgot, I almost forgot about our onions and uh, no, tomato. That, that's gonna that's gonna be our topper. Yeah. Now, you remember we tossed a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of salt and pepper in just here. A touch. Just a touch. Dab will do you. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna kind of just. Lovely. Do you have any more cilantro? Oh, you know it. You know it. You know. Now I will say, Sam Gorgeous. did not put cilantro on his at the very end, but that's okay. So here we go. We're gonna set this guy right there. Okay. We're gonna set that guy right there. Beautiful little buggers, wow. And to top it off, just a oh, couple little yeah. couple little pieces of cilantro. Now I'm in. And yeah. there it is. Wow. Dude, See after that pleasure. debacle, I totally redeemed myself. And totally redeem yourself. <laughs> Man, that was a struggle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just really sorry. Ethan, maybe. Just give me one more chance. <laughs> just, just put me back in, coach. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. Masterfully done. I mean, masterfully done, Sam. Thank you, Sam. I'm gonna decide if it's actually good or not, though. Okay. Let's head over to the bar. Shall we? Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go, boys. We didn't build this bar for nothing. 
We didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Oh, good one. Yeah. Well, we didn't get dressed up for nothing. I'm gonna let you pick which one you would like. I know you prefer corn, and you know I prefer flour. So then let's just let the game, let the battle of wits begin. <gasps> oh! <Yeah. laughs> the battle of wits has begun. Yeah, flour for you. Yeah, talk to me. Flour for you, corn for me. Let's talk to me, goose. Talk to me, goose. Talk to me, goose. Bonsai? Auga! Uga shaka, uga, uga, uga shaka. What a feel! It's really, really good. The onion and tomato. Yeah. That fresh bite with the cilantro is perfect. Dude, the crema is amazing too. I wish you would have tried the corn because, man, it was really good. All right, try the flour. All right. Or are you just a little wimp? Yeah, get him, E. Get him. Oh, it's dripping all over you. Mmm. It's so good. <sighs> no, 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 no. Dude, it's good, right? The crema is where it's at. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, that's pretty fantastic. That's really freaking it's a, fantastic. It's a winner. It's a winner, Sam. I'm gonna have another bite. Um, in Sam, the comments, we'll see you, uh, yeah, see you in the comments. In the comments below, Sam, let us know if you approve. Also, in the comments below. Let us know what you guys think about um, some of these interesting mixtures that's going on here. Truthfully, you really can't talk about it until you've tried it. I would have True. never thought this was the route to go. But speaking of comments. Ooh, is it that time? It is that time. That B knows it's time. Let's do it. Comments of the week, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. As usual, I am screenshotting comments. They are in no particular order. If this is your first time watching this segment of the episode, basically I find loving comments and mean comments and I read them and we enjoy them. Thoroughly. <laughs> Thoroughly. So here we go, starting from the top. Again, no particular order. This comes from Lance on YouTube. So I watch most of your videos on my phone and I always pause it right at the intro song and say to my wife, hey Deb, guess what time it is? Then crank it and play your song and get the eye roll every time priceless don't change a thing wow dude Lance, get a ring for that ring for it ethan is on the ringing duty over there there we go ringing all right duty. cheers my friend and Here this we... is for deb okay this is from come and take it first off i'm 35 years old i'm divorced and live in a van down by the river no he didn't say that that's <laughs> and i live in a van down by the river. That's what it says. Okay. I find myself re-quoting your movie quotes throughout the day. Thanks for that. I personally need more Chris Farley. Oh. That's awesome. Don't we all? Ring that bell. Boom, there it is. Let's get one more. All right, here we go. <laughs> this good one. Yeah, this is great. This is from Andy Boy 4444 Man, this resounds seriously today. I'm always impressed when someone can turn two minutes of actual content into 20 plus <laughs> minutes. Dude, I made a marinade for like 20 minutes today. Yeah, apparently. Who does that? You. Uh, should we ring or ding it? Bring Don't it? ring it on that, because no, it's just true. I'll give you a... No rings, but... Um, this is from Steven. Let's ring these off a few quick ones. Well, my Sunday morning just took on a whole new look, and we actually installed a bell in CJ's honor. Matt G, thank you for your transparency. You mean the fact that I don't edit out how I butcher everything and screw it up? <laughs> You're welcome, Matt. Kevin, I'm 66 years old, CJ. I still feel like I'm in high school. I love the videos. Griddle on. Yeah. Boom! I love that. Honestly, you're not ringing that bell enough. Got to pump those numbers up. Those nice. are rookie numbers. Dude, that Let's was ring a multi-level comment. Them. Cheers to Who all of that? you guys. That was from TLU002. Dude, great comment. Pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. All right, here we go. A couple more. This is from Russ. Another stellar show. I'm trying to follow along, but the first part went kind of fast. So bacon on the grill, <laughs> take break, move burnt bacon to side, and try again. <laughs> try again. Yeah. Russ. You know so me you so well. <laughs> okay, you got it. I'll ring the bell for that one. Okay. It, it, oh, it, it, you you, you all right? Okay. Nope. You want to try one more time? There, there we go. go. Jeez. Hard Take this find, guy anyway. Hard to find good help. Uh, this is our last one. This is what happens when you substitute, oh, a red Solo cup for a wine glass. Oh, that was on my video. We hijacked it from Nate's. If you haven't seen, this is where the fun lives. And that's where, um, basically, you can watch Murder, She Wrote over there, maybe Matlock. I'm not sure if you'll have enough time. There's definitely Metamucil shots waiting for you over there. Are you referring to my show as where the old people go? I'm not saying old. 
Well, you mentioned Metamucil, Matlock, and Murder, She Wrote. Well, I just think that all those correspond with people who don't want to enjoy their life. What? So my show <laughs> correlates with people that don't want to enjoy it. In the comments I on can. CJ's video. I can. I can. It's awesome. It's great. But over here, this is where you enjoy Wayne's World. This is where you get high cholesterol. Yes. Ugh, I can actually hear you getting fatter. Uh, on that note, we are ringing it out, my friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on CJ's first cooking show. Be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com. You can see this recipe and a ton of others. Actually, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a lot of recipes I haven't posted lately because I'm super lame. And lazy. Got, I'm because just this being is transparent. The fun show I'm just being transparent. No one's responsible. I'm just being transparent. <laughs> so be sure to check out uh, Todd's show. It's tons of fun. Betty's show, she shows you how to cook family style and it's brilliant. Uh, Nate's show, the where- The geriatric cooking the geriatric show, just say it. channel over there. Uh, but this is where CJ's first cooking show is, where we cook. And we quote. Yes, we do. Ethan, ring that bell. My nephew over there taking care of business. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Look, here's the bottom line. I don't screw up this much in real life, but when the cameras are rolling, <laughs> crap happens. Yeah, everyone knows that. Do they? I don't know if they do. Let me know in the comments. Oh, man. Yeah!